Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to read the data from Excel using C Sharp. I've covered many videos how to read data from Excel with JavaScript, VBScript and without code etc. Now what we'll do, we will see with C Sharp. For that guys, I have added a Byte Scout spreadsheet that is a NuGet package. You can get it from here. Right click, manage NuGet packages. I have installed Byte Scout spreadsheet. You can browse and you can install that. It will be helpful for this program to reading data, writing data, etc. So let me create spreadsheet document equal to new spreadsheet here we will give the spreadsheet name so here so accept so one thing you can easily like about this is like auto notification auto suggestions if you are stuck somewhere you can easily see through it like you can easily understand so now document dot now what do we need we have to load from a file so this file we are going to read. You can see the suggestion string file name load data from a file. So let's see. Let's let us take the file. So so yeah, we have Excel file here in the VBScript folder. If you have seen my VBScript videos, I have used this file. It is an Excel file. So what are we going to read? So we are going to read the data which are present in this particular file. So now. We have ID, name and age, 1, E and 32. Uh, we want to read this particular data. What I'll do here, I'll close this. I'll right click. I'll copy as a path. Go to my Visual Studio. And I'll write at the rate. So now, I have loaded from the file. If you are giving only single slashes here, uh, make sure to add at the rate in the beginning. Or you can add double slashes. Like C. Uh, colon double slash users etc now we have loaded the file so next thing what we'll do same thing worksheet will use so we'll use worksheet so worksheet equal to what is the sheet name we have there sheet name was just sheet one so i'll write document meant dot workbook so workbook i need dot worksheets dot here we'll get many things by name or there is anything called index okay we can add by name so what was the name we had sheet one s h e e t no. so sheet one we had okay now now let me run the loop so for loop for int i equal to zero so how many rows were there two rows so i'll write uh, semicolon i less than equal i less than two I plus plus now here we'll read the data insert the for loop now we'll have a cell cell reference we'll have cell cell equal to worksheet we can have maybe we can have one more loop let's see so I'll have for int j see it is all auto suggested so i represent the rows right two rows we have so less than two so j represent the columns so we have we had three columns there. so i'll write it like this now we'll be using the worksheet dot cell now so we'll you can directly type console dot so right line or maybe we can add in a so right line where is it okay right line of worksheet dot 
cell see it is auto suggested so we will directly print the worksheet which is i comma j and then after this loop so the document dot close document dot close will close the document since uh, we have taken that object initially so after that we'll use console dot read key so console dot read key so simple date read data excel program is now created so let me now run that so you can see here it properly read ID name and age 1 a and 32 based on i and j loops i close this i'll put this program in the description you can easily check if you have any doubts let me know for now that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you're a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye